Hi guys, Kate here. I'm going to be doing my July favorites for you. And July just happens to be my favorite month. It's my birthday month and my daughter's birthday month. And just, I don't know, bonfires and beer and barbecue. All the good things are in July. But I must say I'm burning my Bath and Body Works Red Velvet Cupcake Candle for the fall, for my fall. And I kind of want fall here. It's just too damn hot here in Minnesota. So, Here's my products, uh, my favorite products for the month, and let's start with face. Why don't we start with, this is my MAC strobe cream, and this is just the little mini one. If you go to the MAC website, they have like travel size things, and it's really nice. I like to be able to, you know, try things out before I spend the money to get it. This is 10 bucks, and it is one fluid ounce, so it's a really good size. And let me show you what it looks like. It's just a, you just need a tiny little bit. You see how shiny that is? Not sure if it's picking up on camera. It just makes you really just glow. It's kind of that like glow from within kind of look. And strobing is really big right now, so it's probably, I don't know, awesome to get. I actually, I have really dry skin. And it can look really dull, so I take that and I put it all over. I don't know if it's shiny or not. Can you pick that up at all? I put this all over my face, and then I put my foundation over it. I give it a second to sit in, though, because you don't want to put your foundation right over it. Pretty much use it as a primer, but I sometimes I'll put a primer on first. Anyways, MAC Strobe Cream. I love it. It has a little bit of a scent to it. It's like a light, clean, floral. It's nothing that's really going to be offensive to anyone with sensitivities. I talked about this last month, but it's because it's amazing. It's hot. I don't want to have, like, the big cake face on. It Cosmetics Celebration Foundation Illumination Light is my shade. It's a little dark on me. Can you see the color? This is what I have on right now. I don't have any liquid foundation. I don't even have a primer on. I just have this all over, and I use... This brush here, I don't know if you can see that at all. It's just like a flat little, I don't know, buffer, buffing brush, I would call it. Uh, check out QVC. They usually have deals where you get the powder foundation and the brush. The brushes are really expensive, but they're really, really nice. But I wouldn't fork out like 30 bucks for this brush. I would just use an e.l.f. one. But um, if you go to QVC, usually they have deals for the same price where you get both. So check that out. Next, I feel like I've talked about this a lot. It's the Too Faced Cocoa Contour Contour Palette. And here's the four colors you get. It's just a really good palette for um, pale skins. The Anastasia one, the what's the other one? The Shade and Light palette from Kat Von D. It's just too dark for pale skin girls. So this one's perfect. I use this color down here, medium cocoa, I use that to contour. I used it today. And then this one here is the light contour, or light cocoa, dark. That's the one that's like a matte highlight color. I set my concealer with that, which is, and I have this on right now too. I went a little heavy with my contour today. I don't know, I was just feeling it. I did my nose a lot too. Uh, this is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. Uh, wrong side, Dark Circle Eraser. They have uh, the concealer ones are light, medium, dark. They have different shades. This is the brightening one, so this has more of a pink hue to it. Can you see that at all, the pink? Comes with a little foamy applicator. You just screw it up, and then under the eyes, what I like to do is use my Real Techniques, like dupe for the Beauty Blender, and I go like this with my concealer, just to blend it in on the forehead, Cupid's bowl for the brightening one. It's kind of like a highlighter. Uh, I love this little guy. It's really cheap. You can get them at pretty much everywhere now. Mine's really dirty, but um, I love this for my concealer. I don't like it for foundation because if I'm going to do foundation, like a liquid foundation, I like to do like um, full coverage and you're not going to get it with this. This gives a more lighter coverage. Um, let's see what else. This is the ColourPop Blush in Prenup. And let's see if you can see. Is it going to 
focus on that? Probably not. Well, whatever. It's this color here. It's kind of like a dusty mauve color. And it has the same formulation as the eyeshadows. You know, it's squishy. It doesn't seem like it's as squishy as the uh, eyeshadows. Can you even see that color there? You see that color? It's like a light mauve paint color. It's really perfect. It's just one of those colors that goes with everything. It's not too pink. It's not too orange or anything. It just works really well. I have it on right now. It's a good color. I have more of a like, kind of natural brownish colors on right now. Should have grabbed a baby white. And then I also have ColourPop Highlighter in Monster. I love these. Um, it's just kind of like a white iridescent color. Let's see if I can get the light to reflect off of that. It just looks white. Let me swatch it over here. Can you see that color? It just gives this beautiful iridescence to the skin. It's nothing too... It has just kind of like a pearlescent pink, maybe a little gold in it even. It's just gorgeous. I have that on my face. So if you see me... I just got a chunk out of it. If you can see the highlight here, that's this uh, ColourPop Monster. I did it on my nose. I did like a little mini strobing. I didn't go all out. Here, let me open one of my other products. Oop, that went on the floor. Alright. Next, this is a really basic product, but I love it. This is one of the EOS lip balms. This is in the blueberry one. You haven't seen what they look like. It looks like a little ball. You always get some weird looks when you pull this out of your purse. Um, at first, I really didn't like these. I just didn't think it was that moisturizing, and I didn't think it was very, like, pocket-friendly. You can't just, like, shove this in your pocket. It's just awkward. But what I do like it for is it is kind of like a harder balm, and it doesn't give off, like, you know, it doesn't make your lips really uh, juicy, and it doesn't make your lips wet. So what I like to use this for is when I am doing my makeup, Every single day I put this on before I put my foundation on. So if you get foundation on your lips, it just wipes away like nothing. This is more of like a wax, I would say. And I put this on probably three times throughout my whole makeup application time. It usually takes me about an hour. I put this on before lip liner, before lipstick, uh, especially if you're going to put on some of the matte lipsticks or the long wearing lipsticks. Put on a balm first. I don't like to do the thick uh, lip. Uh, lip balms, chapstick, or whatever. Chapstick brand, it just goes on too thick. And then I feel like it doesn't, like, the lipstick doesn't sit into your lips enough. EOS, way to go for um, doing your makeup. Uh, this is my MAC Paint Pot and Painterly. I use this every single day. I got a couple other shades, but this is the only one I pretty much use. It's the color of my skin for the most part. This one is more for the pale, uh, cool tone if you got like pink in your skin. And then soft ochre for the uh, warmer tones, uh, olive skin tones. So what I do is I take this, rub my finger in it, and then I just pat it all over. It's like an eyeshadow base, uh, eyeshadow primer. But it just evens out your lid color so that uh, you don't have any veins showing through or um, if you have any discoloration on top of your eyelids. It just totally um, cancels that out. So when you put the eyeshadow on top, not only is it going to last longer, but you're going to get a truer uh, color from the pigment of the eyeshadow because you're not, you know, it's going to go on to a base. And you can actually use this on your under eyes too. And it makes your eyeshadow there last longer. It also uh, covers up if you have dark circles. Try painterly. It works great. And let's stick with MAC. Okay, sticking with MAC... I have these MAC uh, Loose Pigments, and I've been wearing these a lot uh, for my, like, going out looks. Um, these are, again, the travel size. The big ones are $20. These are only 10 and, I mean, who would ever use one of these up in their lifetime? 
Can you see what that looks like? It is very messy. And I have the colors. This is violet. And this one is in melon. And if you have blue eyes, I highly recommend melon. It's a peachy color. It's like gold, peach, orange. It's just amazing. And it just really makes blue eyes pop. So you put this on and then uh, some kind of brown color in your crease a brown mascara and you're set for blue eyes. The violet would actually be good for brown eyes, hazel eyes, or green eyes. That's going to make your color pop. But I mean, you can wear whatever you want. There's no rules in makeup. So I love both of them. And if I was feeling gutsy, I'd wear them both together. I don't care. I'll do what I want. Oh, I didn't talk about it. With these color pop, these, you know, these are kind of like a, a squishy, I don't know, like a moussey consistency. You can see my fingerprint in there, can't you? Maybe this isn't the best color, but you can see like my finger indentation on there. So they're a soft. It's not a cream. It's kind of like a, a mousse to powder consistency. So what I like to use is my stippling brush by Real Technique. And you can see it's all dirty because I just did my makeup. I use this for the highlighter and the blush. For the highlighter, where did I throw it? I just kind of go on the side and then I go nose, tip of the nose, sometimes you know forehead. I always do the cupid's bow and the uh, little bit on the chin. So that's what I do with this and then for the blush I just get in there. And what I like about these stippling brushes is you don't have to worry about getting too much on your brush because it's kind of like a lighter bristles at the ends and then it's more dense where the darker color is here if you can see. So you can just get that in there and get it into the the more dense and then just I like to stipple it and then brush. Anytime you stipple, you know, go bounce it onto your face. Anytime you stipple a product on, you're gonna get better coverage than when you rub it in and you smear it in. That's not gonna get it in there, so just a little tip. So that's what I use for that. Uh, let's go to eyebrows. This is the Benefit Gimme Brow. And I highly recommend this. You know, Elf has their own version of it now. So does other ones, but I don't like them. I tried the, I want to say it's L'Oreal. But it's just, oh, it's just, uh, so many things are like too warm. You know, I have uh, naturally like a dark, kind of like cool blonde hair color. Like a dirty blonde. And, um... It's hard to find a color for my brows that isn't like golden looking. I don't have gold eyebrows or warm. So this is perfect. It's just the perfect, let's see if you can get this color. Camera will pick it up. It's just like a cool blonde color. This one is in a light medium and it's just perfect. And I actually can just do my brows and not even have to draw them on. I mean, this is just fast, easy. It's hot, you know, the summertime. You're all about fast and easy. You know, you're good. You just throw on your uh, foundation. It takes 30 seconds. Throw on your brows and some mascara and some lip gloss. And that's it. That's like your whole face. You're all set. Let me talk about some mascaras that I've been loving. This is one of my Holy Grail mascaras. It is the It Cosmetics Tight Line. And this is amazing. Mine actually dried out, which sucks. They're pretty expensive, but you can get them on QVC. I think they, again, It Cosmetics, they have really good deals there. You get two of these for the price of one at Sephora or Ulta. So I highly recommend QVC. And I'm not sponsored or anything, so don't think I'm making money there. Check out this little brush. That's a, it actually has a bristle. That's a mascara brush. It's called Tightline. And it's an eye primer, her full lash length black primer with peptide enhancing serum. So you get this at the bottom of your lashes and you just wiggle it in and you get it to the base of your lash. It's so little. You can get right there to the base of your lash and you wiggle it around and it looks like you have eyeliner on. And that's why it's called tight line. It's also a primer. So you put your mascara on over it and it just looks great. 
It's a primer and it's actually black. I hate the white primers. It's just like, why is it white? I actually love this for my lower lash line because it's so small. And I will just do this. I don't need mascara on top of it. Highly, highly recommend this. And mine's in waterproof because why not, right? I only like waterproof. This is my favorite mascara right now. This is, it's really hard to find an actual, like, chocolate brown mascara. Like I said before, brown um, mascara really makes blue eyes and actually any light colored eyes pop. Seriously, try it. You'll love it. It just, it looks great. I mean, it sounds like, oh, really? No, I want black. Black mascara is going to make my eyes pop. No, you try a brown mascara and it will make light eyes pop. It, it's just mind boggling. No, it's not mind boggling. You go on the opposite color, on, on the color wheel. Blue, so you got brown. This is dark chocolate. And this is Clinique Lash Power Feathering Mascara. You have got to see this mascara wand. It is just amazing. Do you see this? It's an actual brush. I hate the plastic one. It is just huge, and it's just these huge feather. I just love it. Look at that right there. Love this mascara. It is not in waterproof, unfortunately, but I've never had a problem with it. So, This is a great drugstore. I was looking for a good drugstore waterproof mascara, and I got this one. Actually, I got about five different ones, but this one is my favorite, and I have another that's going to be my unfavorite. This is the Neutrogena Healthy Volume Waterproof Mascara, and it's really nice. It has this huge, awesome brush. Do you see how big that is? And it's just the normal, natural bristle brush. It's not the plasticky ones. It's just a good mascara. I mean, it does everything you want it to do. It's not going to give you the false lash look, but it's really good. Highly recommend. This is on my lips right now. These are the L'Oreal Lilac. This is in the color... Why doesn't it say? It doesn't say. Um, oh, here it is. Choco, Choco Lock, Black, Choco Lack. It's just this nice nudie color. I will say though, the matte ones aren't as bad, but the the lacquer ones they smell so strong of rose that it, if you're sensitive to scent, uh, scents, it will give you a headache. So here it is right here. It's just a nice neutral mauvey tan beige perfect lip color it's definitely a your lips but better kind of color so what I have on right now it's moisturizing this will stay on for hours okay I need to go fast my battery's about to die these are my favorite face wash these are the boots beautiful skin quick thinking wipes all skin types removes even waterproof mascara these work fantastic I have really sensitive skin they work great I get mine at Target I get a big box like this. It's about 10 bucks for the box. Um, sticking with face. I have this huge gnarly zit right here. It's still kind of hanging around. My Clean and Clear Advantage Acne Spot Treatment. This is the best zit cream I've ever used. I've actually been using this for probably 10 to 15 years. It works great. This is something kind of weird, but my Dove Clinical Protection Clear Tone Deodorant. I absolutely hate scented deodorant. I hate scented deodorant, and it seems every deodorant is scented. Uh, it's hard to find unscented in the clinical strength, because I mean that's what I like. I'm a big girl. I sweat. So this one, it just says clear tone, and I don't know. It's okay. It has a little bit of a scent, but it's nothing, um, nothing bad. I like unscented because I don't want anything interfering with my perfume or lotions or anything that I have on. I absolutely hate, like, for example, the Dove one that's like cucumbers, cucumber melon or whatever. Why would I want to smell like cucumbers and then go and put on, like, a floral or a sweet perfume? Doesn't make sense. Okay, next is Plus White 5 Minute Speed Whitening Gel. One step bleaching, power fast and easy. This stuff works fantastic. This is like the, it works better than any strips I've ever used. You take a Q-tip, it's just clear. You put it on a Q-tip, wipe it on your teeth, wait five minutes. I usually wait like 10, 15 minutes, whatever. Love it. Uh, next is perfumes. This is Katy, per Katy Perry's Mad Potion. I love this. The bottle is super cute. The top is glittery. It looks like a little potion. This is what the box looks like. 
This smells like, I really like sweet scents. I don't like musky. I don't like old lady scents. I don't like florals. I like straight candy scented. So this smells like cotton candy and vanilla. It is so good. Uh, doesn't have the greatest wearing time, but it's pretty good. This one, I can't believe I'm down to here already. I get so many compliments on this. It's hard to pronounce. It's called Comptour Sud Pacific Vanilla Extreme. You can get this at Sephora. I will write the details down below. It smells like a cupcake. You smell like a cupcake and you smell it all day long. I love it. Next one, this is Scentbird. A lot of people are talking about this right now. I am not an affiliate. I do not have any. I pay for my own. I actually pay for two subscriptions a month. This is a fragrance subscription box that you get every month and you get a when you first sign up you get this little black um, container canister thing and then you pick out whatever fragrance you want this one is Prada Candy this is in my favorites I used to not like it I've never actually had it but I've smelt it the bottle before at Sephora and stuff so it's like ooh candy I like sweet scents it's a little more grown up but it is really nice once I actually owned it myself and I also get compliments on this a lot so you get this little vial a different vial every month you stick it in here and then this goes up and down so it's um, perfect to have in your purse and I love it I get two I have two of these and so I get two fragrances a month you can go and like set how many what am I trying to say you can go through and set each month so you know you can set which ones you want coming for um, fall scents and all that I have a bunch here it's just a few that I have I actually have one scent in my unfavorites I'll get to soon and this is really strange to have in my favorites but these shoes oh I don't even want to show the inside these are the Sonoma Ballet Flats these are from Kohl's I wear these every single day to work and they're actually cute and they're super comfortable I wear them with those little no-show toe sock things these are regular price $55 they're on sale right now for $22 I probably got them around 20 bucks with my discounts. Okay, next up is my unfavorites. I've kind of got a lot. Some of them I have a love-hate relationship for, but I'm going to put them in here because I do not love them. First up, this is the Maximum Strength 10% Benzoyl Peroxide Gel. It's the Up and Up brand. It's a zit cream. It says, compare to clean and clear Persigel 10. This sucks. This does nothing. It is white and it looks like toothpaste. It smells. This does nothing for big honking zits. Don't like it. This I want to love. This is the NYC BB Radiant Smooth Skin Mini Parfait. This is kind of like a little dupe thing for the IT Cosmetics. Looks like this. Little mirror. Problem is it only comes in one shade. This coverage on this is a